uh, welcome back to CAD application class. In the last class, we have drawn the base of this uh, V block. This drawing is what V block assembly. It is uh, in our uh, uh, machine drawing, uh, interpreting engineering drawing book on page number 176. So now let us try to draw this yoke. Okay. So now, when once we finish the yoke, we have to draw this uh, screw, and then we have to draw this knurl knob. Then we will do the assembly. So what are the dimensions for the yoke? Let's try to just first make a new drawing. Let's open a new drawing. I'll just go here, open a new drawing, part. You can select any plane. Let me go and select this plane I have got over here. Let me go back here and check. Let's start from here. See, what is the, what are the dimensions here? This is 22, this is 32, okay. 22 32 let's come let's draw a center arc radius you have one okay then you have another one with the same center you have the same center okay then what are the dimensions here? This is 22, 22. Okay. And again this is 32. Okay. Now let's go back here. And now let's see what is the total height. The total height is 66. Let it be there. Okay. Total height is 66 now what i need now i need now uh, i will draw one line on the top and then come down i will just draw one line here horizontal line click ok then i will draw another line here let me just go back here and let me see I need something like this is it not okay from here I will come down let me just go down like this come down here then again I have to make a up to this point or maybe a little down like this then I will go out then I will come here I will finish it here okay this is what I have done now now I will say okay fine now let us see what are the things I need to do now? This thickness is how much? From this point to this point, it is how much? From this point to this point, it is 12. Okay. But let me just do it 12 and 10. From here to here, it is 10. Click OK. Now again, from this line to this line it is 12 he says say 12 done then what else I need now I need to do at this point this is he is giving me a radius R12 I will I can make a fillet R12 I will do it later first let me just fix the other dimensions what are the other dimensions now the total height from the bottom of the yoke to this top this is 66 okay this is 66 let me do it 66 from where from here to here this distance is how much he says he says this as 66 okay let us just click it so this is ready then what else i need
I need this thickness. This thickness I need because this has to slide inside this. So that thickness you can have it over here. See what is the thickness here you have. This is 22. This is 22. 44. Out of 54, 44 is gone. In. This is 10. Okay. This height should be how much? This height should be 10. From where? From this point to this point it should be how much this should be 10 so now you can ask me what is this angle this angle can be anything because he is not given there let me just select some angle between this one and this one I will take this angle as how much 90 plus 40 90 plus uh, 30 90 plus 30 is 120 I will take it as 120 okay so I have this one so now almost I am ready with this so what are the other things I need to do now I need to fix this length this length is how much he says this length he says it is 19 okay he says it as 19. 19 means half of it will be how much? 9 and a half. That is 9.5. I will draw a construction line here. So in the middle, I will just draw it up like this. Enter. Escape. Now, I will have this dimension from here to here. I will have it as 9.5. Okay. Done. So now what I will do? I will make mirror of this one. First I will cut and remove this, then I will make mirror of it. Now what I will do, I will just go to trim entities, I will just delete all this, delete this one also, click OK, fine. This is clear. So now what else is there? Now I have got this height. Have I fixed this height? This is very important for me. Let me just see there. This height, this height is how much? This height is equal to, see here, 22. Correct. So now let me just go back here. Fix this height from where? From this point to this point. This should be how much? This should be 22. See? The moment I fix this one, everything is defined now. Except what? Except this one. Let me just try. If I can finish it, let me do it here itself. Sketch. Now how much is this fillet? I will take the fillet here given R3 between this line and this line. It did not take the fillet. The fillet could not be added. Okay, later we will do the 3D fillet. Let it be there. So right now what I will do, I will just put the dimension to fix this line. Okay. Between this point and this point it is 2 let me make it as 3 let me make it as let me just go back and see here how it looks like now because this has come down actually so what i will do is i will not do that i will just go back and say undo chain dimension okay so it is there let it be there so it is too let it be there so now what i will do now i have already deleted now i will make at this point i need to draw something so i need to draw a line from where from here to here i will draw a vertical line enter escape now trim entities remove this no need remove this no need okay so i am almost ready now so what i will do is i will just make mirror mirror entities mirror entities what entities i need to mirror i will select everything everything is selected now mirror about what mirror about your center line see that it's already mirrored you see it in yellow click tick mark everything is ready now for you okay now see now what i can do i can just extrude it I will extrude it. How much I should extrude? What is this thickness here? The thickness is 20. So let me just go back here. Extrude boss base. I will take this one as 20. Now see that? 
done. Already you have created the yoke. Only the thing is now you have to create a hole inside this. I will select this one, make it normal. Then I need to create a hole. Just go, make sketch here. Create a hole where I should create. Put it somewhere here. Afterwards, you will fix the size. Now, what should be the size of the hole? Now, just go here. What is the diameter of uh, the thread here on this uh, screw? It is M12. Okay. So, the nominal diameter of this screw is 12. So, what should be the nominal diameter of the hole on this yoke? Because you have to make a hole on the yoke, and then on that hole, through that hole, you have to use a tap. Okay. So I need to first find out what is the tap, uh, tap drill size. So what I will do is I just go here. I will make it down and then I will open. Uh, I will do Google search. I will say ISO metric tap drill sizes. So now just go here, open it. M12, is it not? See what is the, the size for 80% engagement? It is 10.2. So now I will make a hole. I mean, uh, the diameter of this one I will fix it as how much? 10. Okay. So now I have done it. So now I have a circle. Now I will go to features. I have to do extruded cut. What I did do? I will make blind or up to next you make it up to next the through wall it is all the same because that is a single hole see it has made the hole okay so now what i will do is i will draw an axis also for this hole okay why i draw the axis i will draw the axis because later when i am assembling my screw it will be a bit difficult so if i have an axis over here so it will be very easy for me so i will select this one see the axis is already there okay so i will say tick so my axis is already there which will be used for me at a later time so now what is the next job i want i want to make tap here okay so i will go to hole wizard which we did in uh, bolt and nut go to thread when you open the thread now you have got what thread location select where you want you want on this one see it is already doing now it is a blind thread or up to next whatever you want you can have it you call it as blind end uh, condition how much is the end condition what is the thickness just go back and see here how much is this depth little more than that you can cut it i will just say maybe mm, 15 or even 20 it doesn't matter okay let it go out see there yeah no no it is too much so let me make it as 15 sorry 15 that's fine okay i have to use metric tab metric tab and m12 what is the uh, pitch here m12 1.75 okay if i open it i have m12 1.75 see here 10.2 is the diameter which I have already made for the hole. Everything is there. I have to cut the thread. Okay. I am cutting the thread. Now what I will do? I will say trim with start face. Trim with end face. Okay. Now see. But here you can see the thread is abrupting shortly. So I will make a little bit of offset. I will make offset. Offset by how much? Change the direction to move it out. I will offset by maybe 3 millimeter. Okay. Now see, now see smoothly the thread has come out. Now in the bottom it has not come out smoothly. Just go back, click on this one, thread you just please make it. So here I need to increase the length little bit. I will make it as let us say 20, no problem. Now it will do, okay. See, trim with start face, trim with end face. Now see here also it has done a nice job. Okay. So now you have your complete yoke ready. See. I have got the yoke here. I will save it as. Save as. 
yolk power to vivo ke yolk okay i have saved it as yolk now i have to do few things i have to do what i have to do a fillet here and i have to do a fillet here let me go to fillet see i will take the fillet size as how much 3 enter now select the faces where you want to make the fillet here then you want to make the fillet here turn it you want to make the fillet here you want to make the fillet here say okay all the four faces see beautifully it has done the fillets okay now completely done your uh, yolk is ready now save it okay Thank you for watching this video.